All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another live New York session. It is uh, May 10, 2023. We're going to be trading on gold today. Before we get started, we are going to check the news. We're going to be trading CPI in about 30 minutes. So we're going to actually prepare for that. Um, let me check here. Which is a uh, set in stone. Before I start analyzing. Okay. So that's set for here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be implementing the GSA strategy. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is, is turn on the cheat code indicator to see if we have a buy or sell signal, uh, which we don't at the current moment. So we wouldn't trade this if we were doing the one hour entry at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off, turn this off, <clears throat> and then we're gonna figure out what is the overall trend. <clears throat> so we could see starting from here, price broke every single previous high. And we can even see that there. So we can say that price is overall bullish. We want to draw a trend line here. <clears throat> and so that's good. Now we're going to go to our smaller time frame, which is the 15 minute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what is the current trend. So when we look at the current trend here, we can see that there is a swing low here and a push up, pull back and then wiped out this uh, previous high here. So it's clear to say that price um, is currently bullish because of that last move. We wanna put a trend line here. <laughs> Now we're gonna draw our trading ranges. So we see this last swing low here, originated from this move. Um, and then we see this swing high here. And then we see this break of structure here. So it looks like we're in the bullish trading range. <laughs> So we're going to label this bullish trading range. And we're going to draw up our trading ranges. <clears throat> and this is going to be our break of structure here. And our snowy high. We want to take our field and go from the most recent low to the most recent high. And we can see that price kind of rejected the 5180 uh, 69% here. We're going to look at this at the buyer zone. Price might pull back quite a bit and then go up. <laughs> but this is what I'm kind of looking at. <laughs> I'm the cheap code indicator. And we can kind of see that. Um, the Bollinger Band is down here. So price could do, depending on what price is positioned um, before the 930 bell, price is either going to do a very hard stop down to here, stick out the Bollinger Band and buy up, or if price comes all the way down to here before the 830 bell, 
the 8.30 candle rally to be moved, then it's going to push up. So it just really depends on where price is going to be positioned before those candle close, before that candle closes. Uh, so what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to actually wait for the 8.15 candle to close and see what price lays. Then that'll kind of give us an idea of which way we're going to go. But more likely, we are probably going to be going bullish, more likely. Wouldn't be surprised if price kind of hit some structure here and then push all the way up and shoot all the way out to here. So we have until we have a little bit over eight minutes before the 815 candle closes. Then we're going to kind of make our decision what we're going to do. So stay tuned. All right, so the 815 candle has officially closed. So I'm planning on doing the buy. So I'm going to put my risk to reward tool down here. And I plan on buying price all the way up to this bulge down here. So I'm going to put a zone right up to here. And I'm going to get this to pop it up to here. That's my goal. Um, so what we're going to do is um, I'm not going to put my alerts in. I'm just going to aim for this TP since we're doing news. I'm going to aim for that. Um, and then once we get to the 828 can uh 828, that's when we're going to start initializing um a uh, lot size for the 50k account here and MetaTrader 4 on the PC. And then we're going to do that and we do MetaTrader 4 on the front. And then we're going to uh once we do that, we're going to strictly focus on price action for this last candle and see where it goes and see which account fits our target. So we're going to do a sell for um, this account here and a buy and account in the fine. So that's what we're going to do. And um, so we have a little bit over 13 minutes before that happens. So stay tuned. Well, about 10 to 11 minutes. So we'll be right back. So now we're going to share lines of trade. So let's see if it takes this money. So let's try 7.00. Not yet, not yet. Let me know. About 20 seconds. Try 7.00, that don't work in 6.00. Let me know. 10 seconds. All right, try it. Okay, all right. So try 14 for the 100K in about 10 seconds. I would try it. Took the four it took the fourteen uh point fourteen point zero zero. It took it. So wow, fourteen point zero zero. So let's get ready. Let's get ready, 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 ready. Come on here. Oh, shoot. Got my hand on the close button for both of them. Let's see which one hits. All right, it's buying up. Let's see. Seven six six thousand dollar profit. Let's get let's see. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Eleven thousand. Ten thousand. Twelve thousand. 
12,000, close it. I close it at 11,000. Uh, close it? Yes. Perfect, it's, dog. It still went up too. So I'm gonna close this one. All right, so now we go back to, uh, <clears throat> yep, we went all the way up to, uh, went all the way up to this zone. So we did good, we jumped out of time. But it's, it's great. Hey, my phone's freezing up. I gotta find a way to restart it. Okay. So let's see. Man, we could have held that thing a little bit more. Yeah. That was still good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. My my phone just froze and I don't I don't understand why, but I can hear you. You mess with your Android is not messing. Maybe you're right, dog. I, I hate this phone though. All right, so hey. Can you see my screen? No, it's frozen, though. I can't see nothing. But um, let me let me try to. I can hear you. I just can't see anything, though. Okay. So but send me a screenshot when you can. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'll screen send you a screenshot of how much we made. Is it still going up? Yeah, it's still going up. We could have held that, bro. <laughs> wow. We could have held that. <laughs> um, how much more? Way more. You serious? Yes. Take a screenshot of that too. Of of where is that right now? Let me send you a screenshot of that in the profit. And okay. Calculation. So you can do it. Wow. Good job. All right. All right. All right, well, let me figure out my phone and um, let me hit you back. Well, I'm, I'm going to be on to just listen. I just can't see anything, dog. Uh. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and close up. You can go ahead and exit the Zoom, then I'll close the Zoom, and then, uh, we, can look, then we can talk over the phone. Well, we okay. can the Zoom so we can start a withdrawal. Okay. All right. All right, later. All right. This thing shot up. The hell of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share our results. Profit count or live profit count made twelve thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. So we did good on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this uh, live session, guys. We did a great job. Um, price went up for a total. Uh, I know we initiated our trade here. Started from there. That was over nineteen hundred points. That's insane. But that's it, guys. We did good on this trade here. So go ahead and wrap up this New York session.